Yo, what's good, sports fans? My name is Damian Adams from The Real Deal with Damian Adams. Please go ahead and subscribe to The Real Deal with Damian Adams on whatever podcast platform you listen to. Now, today I wanted to come and do a short video about the news that came out yesterday about the Pelicans. They have hired Stan Van Gundy as their next head coach, and I wanted to give it some time to marinate, to really let it sink in and get the juices, the flavor of it, to see exactly what I thought about it. And my feelings haven't really changed. You know, I'm kind of disappointed. Uh, Stan Van Gundy's not a bad head coach at all, right? He's had success in this league. We know what he did with the Heat before they kind of got burnt out on him and Pat Riley came in for them to win that title with Shaq and Dwayne Wade. Uh, we saw what he did in Orlando, got them to the finals with Dwight Howard. And then him and Dwight Howard, their relationship soured and he was gone. But to his credit, Dwight Howard's had some issues in other places, so maybe that was more on Dwight than him. And Orlando hasn't done anything since Stan Van left there. Um, Detroit was definitely rough for him, right? And he didn't have the talent there that he had in the other two places. So Stan can coach, right? And we know one thing, like on defense, they're going to be better than they were last year. He's going to make sure that they build a wall. There's famous clips of him yelling, build a wall. So you're going to make sure on fast breaks that they're building a the wall on defense. And offensively, they're going to spread the floor they're going to execute. They're going to be less turnover prone. But does the team get burnt out on him being such a perfectionist, right? That's what we heard from people like Shaq, from people like Dwight Howard. He yells so much. He just wants it so bad that it burns out the players. And does it happen again? And plus, why are we reaching into the recycling bin of coaches, right? There's a bunch of new clothes over here that have not been worn that you can get probably at a cheaper price, but you keep reaching into this recycling bin, paying more for used clothes than getting the new stuff that's hanging up here, looking all shiny and new. So for me, I'm a little disappointed that we did not get somebody who was new. I was rooting for Becky Hammond. I don't know if she was even part of the interview process, but for Stan, we just hope that he can do what he's done in Orlando and for that short time in Miami. We hope that we don't get the Detroit results. Um, good thing is that he will not be in charge of basketball operations like he was in Detroit. I think that was too much for him. Just be a coach. Just handle what's going on on the floor, and we'll see going forward, right? So for me, Stan Van Gundy, I would give the higher, i say a, a B-, minus, because he's a good coach that's been proven, but I feel like we could have went in a million different directions, did something new, took a chance, and maybe you find that next Nick Nurse, Brad Stevens, the next real thing in this league instead of recycling through the same guys when we know what they've done. We've seen the results. This is his fourth job. So we've seen what happens. It's not like it's his second place and maybe it was the organization like for other coaches, right? So we'll see going forward. What are your thoughts? Do you think Stan Van Gundy is a good hire for the Pelicans? And if not, who do you think they should have hired? Do you have any thoughts in mind on that? So until next time, go real. I'll go home.